All right, so we're on a little mission today. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> So I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to dump the boat in. This is not really a boat ramp. This is just a gravel bar on the side of the river. I'm not sure what kind of obstructions may be up that way, but we're going to find out. All right, first thing I got to do is figure out whether or not I'm going to even be able to get the boat in the water. Like I said, this is just a gravel bar. There's not much of a slope. In the past, I remember having to drive basically until I got the uh, rear wheels of the truck in the river before there was enough depth to get the boat off. So this is what we're looking at right here. One thing that's good though, the uh, water clarity is pretty good. I wasn't sure about that. And it looks like this is gonna be my spot. I just don't wanna have to back the truck all the way into the river. All I got to do now is get up river without smashing anything and find some fish. <laughs> So I have run about seven miles up river, no major obstacles, or at least nothing that I didn't remember from before. Water looks great. This should be plenty of water for me to spend the day, although I don't have all day, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start here. I got a nice riffle over here on this side, hoping to get some nice Guadalupe bass, but there's tons of good structure and some solar water over on this side. So I'll probably be switching back and forth from a streamer and this faster stuff to either a popper or a crawfish and the slower stuff, see if I can catch a nice largemouth. I came with six rods. <laughs> I've got sink tips, I've got intermediate tips, I've got a couple of floating lines, I've got streamers, I've got buggers, and I've got some poppers. So I got a little bit of everything. Hopefully something's gonna work because I really would like to catch a fish out here because everything just looks perfect. I got all this water to myself. I'm going to start with the sink tip, little white streamer. It's going to hit this riffle. Luckily, I got this uh, eddy here where I can hold in the boat. Don't have to worry about getting swept downstream. And I can cast over into the riffle. Moving water, let my fly swing, let it sink. Then I'm going to strip it back out of the current and over into this deeper, slower stuff. A couple of downstream ends. <laughs> I kind of mix it up between just letting it drift till it goes straight. And then maybe uh, I'll do a couple casts where I'll actually strip it back across the current. Oh, dang it. That was a bump. I missed one. 
I always set the hook. <laughs> All right, so nothing in the riffle over there, but I got my frog <laughs> and I got some nice looking brush over here. I'm going to see if I can get a large mouth out of this slower stuff. If I get a fish on the popper or on this frog, I'm probably gonna be done throwing those sinking lines. <laughs> it just takes one fish on top and I am all in. It is still a little early in the season for them to be coming up, but it's been pretty warm the last few days. So I'm hopeful. All right, before I move down, I'm going to make a few casts below the riffle in this deeper water with my sink tip. See if there's anybody hunkering down. No luck with the streamer. No luck with the popper. It is still winter time, so we'll see if we can do anything with this sink tip. Come on, fish. All right, this is the last cast before we move to the next spot. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> the famous last cast fish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? Staying down deep. I'm guessing it's probably a drum. Jeez, he's putting a bend in this seven weight. Whatever it is, it's a good fish. And I'm happy. My first trip down to this stretch of river in a while. What is it? Like I said, he's putting a bend in the seven weight. Oh, geez. It's a flathead catfish. <laughs> okay. I have caught one of these guys before. I am not a catfish expert, but this is either a flathead catfish or a yellow cat. We'll have to find out later. But he whacked that fly. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I think I said something recently about how I was not a huge fan of catching catfish, but uh, they put a bend in the rod. <laughs> That's two trips in a row. Personal record. Catfish on the fly. No doubt he ate it. <laughs> All right, I'll let him go. That is a first. <laughs> I was not expecting to catch a catfish, but what the hell? Put a bend in the rod. <laughs> the last cast fish. Got a little back eddy here. Oh, there's one. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's a huge crappie. <laughs> that is a huge crappie. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that guy. Whack that streamer. Yeah, that is a massive crappie. Yeah. All right. That's two species down. Still no bass, but I'll take that. 
<laughs> yes. I'd actually looked away for half a second when that guy hit it. I'm thinking if the crappie will eat this fly, the bass will too. Oh, this next little stretch is so good. I gotta catch a fish. <laughs> nice little shady spot coming up up there. Looks like a good hole for a bass to be hiding in right now. I'm gonna try the streamer a little while longer. May have to switch over to a crawfish if this doesn't work. All right, so uh, I've been trying this streamer and I haven't had any success. So I'm gonna back a little bit away from this wall behind me, get the sinking line out, see if I can dredge something up with a crawfish. And one of the keys to this type of fishing is being patient. <laughs> I really want to start stripping this thing, but I really need to let it sink until I feel it touch the bottom. All right, so I have tried streamers. I've tried poppers. I've tried sinking lines, I've tried floating lines, I've tried diving flies on sinking lines, <laughs> sinking flies on floating lines. <laughs> I fished the fast water, fished the slow water, fished the deep water, fished the shallow water. Uh, and so far I got the one catfish and one crappie two fish that I was not expecting to catch. <laughs> I was expecting to get a few bass, but uh, so far, no bass. But it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And like I said, I've got uh, at least seven miles of river all to myself, have not seen another person, have not heard another boat, a uh, bunch of birds, a couple of eagles, and me. So I'm going to call today a success because, <laughs> you know, it ain't all about the fish. Now, I am going to hit a few more holes, so I got my fingers crossed. I'm going to get me a bass, but if I don't, I'm still going to be happy and I'm going to go home with a big smile on my face. <laughs>